Hello and welcome to this video on version 7 of the Band in a Box DAW plugin for Mac. The DAW plugin is a VST3, AAX, and AU plugin, which has many of the features you love in our classic Band in a Box application and can be used in the DAW of your choice, such as Reaper, Pro Tools, GarageBand, and many, many more popular DAWs. Right now I have the plugin loaded in Pro Tools and I've loaded the demo song for the new Band in a Box style, Wiggle Funky Soul Jazz Organ. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that the interface is now a lot more simplified and streamlined. We have this large generate button at the top left, which is new. The transport controls have been made bigger and more prominent. The chord settings and bar settings have been moved here, which makes a lot more sense since they're specifically to do with the chord chart right below them. And in the bar settings, you can now apply bar settings to utility tracks, which you couldn't do in previous versions. The most exciting new feature, and probably the most requested, is the ability to generate the tracks without the need to create new generated WAV files. This saves both time and hard drive space. These WAV instructions generate in much less time and play back directly from the source files in your Band in a Box folder instead of creating new files. If you click on the small arrow button under the Generate button, you'll be able to choose between WAV instructions, WAV files, or both, as well as some other generate options. I'm going to keep the setting I had previously, I just want to have WAV instructions. Now you may notice that this button is pulsing slightly. It goes from a brighter blue to a slightly darker blue. This is an indicator that you should actually generate tracks. Now this can be maybe because you've loaded a new style or loaded a completely new song or made some chord changes or any other changes like that. And so I'm going to press it now to generate these wave instructions. And you can see that it took just 16 seconds to generate the tracks. If we'd been writing new WAV files, that would have taken quite a bit longer. So now I want to be able to play these generated tracks simply by pressing play in the DAW itself. In order to do that, you need to have this sync button activated. Now before I play, I just want to show you this tempo indicator here. The style is a 100 beat per minute style. However, you'll notice that there's this yellow number underneath, 103. That is there to indicate the tempo of the DAW. And you can see up here, it's showing 103 beats per minute in the DAW itself. And then this little blue square is flashing just to indicate that there is the discrepancy between those two tempos. However, I actually did this on purpose. When you have these wave instructions, they will play back at the tempo indicated by the DAW. And so, even though these are 100 beat per minute real tracks and real drums, they'll be playing back at the DAW tempo, which is 103. Now, because I have this sync selected, I'm just going to click in here and start playback right in the DAW. And if I click on these track labels, it turns them into an actual mixer, so I can actually be mixing right in the plugin. Now, not only does the plugin follow the tempo of the DAW, it also follows tempo changes within that. So I'm going to add a few tempo changes here, make it speed up a little bit. So I'll just add a tempo change. Maybe I'll go up to 106 beats per minute here. And then I'll maybe go up to 108 here. And this will probably sound pretty bad to make a big jump like this, but just to highlight it, I will go to 120 beats per minute here. So now I'll start playback again and we'll hear those tempo changes occur in the plugin.
I've been demonstrating this in Pro Tools, but you can use the plugin with any DAW, such as Reaper, GarageBand, or many more. And so right now, I'm just going to add the plugin in GarageBand. Another requested new feature is that Band in a Box will now automatically offer to generate ungenerated tracks when you try to drag them into the DAW. We've also improved demo playback with a demo button that plays an audio render of the style demo. And you can scroll through the demo using this timeline. We hope you enjoy the amazing new content and new features in Banana Box 2025 for Mac. Thanks for watching and have fun.